All right, moving on. This next segment is going to talk about another incredibly important technique, which is called vibrato. Now, vibrato is done similar to the voice would do, where you're waving a pitch back and forth. You're creating this waveform that does this. Vibrato, here's what it sounds like. <laughs> and forth back and forth like that all right now with vibrato again I'm in that same blues stance okay and I'm gonna show you how to do vibrato with all four fingers now what I'm doing is I'm taking a pitch that's stagnant or solid like this it's not moving at all it's just staying right there what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull downward toward the floor just slightly now is it possible to push toward the ceiling yes it is possible um, most players, certainly myself, I like to, I prefer to go toward the floor. It's easier to create a rocking motion than it is to push upward, okay? Plus, it's going to play into it a little bit in a second when I show you how to do a bend and, and vibrato at the same time. So, I'm pulling toward the floor just slightly, which is going to put the string out of tune, okay? But then the, the key here is I'm going to bring it back flat again to its zero position, back just flat, and then I'm gonna bend it again just a little bit back to where I bent it before. So if you think about it this way, what I'm doing is I'm creating two different pitches. I have my normal pitch when I just pluck the string, then I have my bent pitch right here, and then I'm going back and going back. So my waveform is gonna look like this. It's not like this, kind of all over the place. It's creating this constant waveform like this. I can control how wide it is, and I can control how fast it is. Okay, depending on the situation. So the first thing I need to do is simply gain, gain control of it, right? So I'm grabbing on with my first finger, I'm grabbing on with my thumb over the top, okay? Now the key here is the fact that when I grab on, I can feel the bottom of the guitar neck against my, my finger right here. Because what I'm essentially doing is I'm going to turn against that flesh to pull that string with my first finger. I'm gonna pull that string toward the floor like this. Okay, so that again is why I'm not sitting in this position. I'm grabbing on so I can literally feel the guitar neck right there. And I'm turning, if you can see my finger right there, I'm turning with the crunchiness of my flesh. That's kind of gross, but that's what's happening. Okay. And I can control how fast or how wide I want to make it. Now, most of the time, as a general rule, you don't want it to be super wide and super fast all the time, you know, like this. Because it tends to sound really, I don't know, quasar-y. It's just all over the place. You know what I mean? Don't do that. Create a nice smooth vibrato. If you want a big wide vibrato sometimes, that's great. But it doesn't have to be so fast, you know, to where your, your wave doesn't look like this. Your wave actually just looks like a bunch of these, right? So when you're playing, okay, and again, listen to players that you like, listen to the vibrato that they do, um, you know, decide which players that, that as you're playing, or excuse me, as you're listening to them, which players have a vibrato that you would like to emulate, something that you listen to and go, oh, wow, that's a really, really nice vibrato. There's a ton of guys out there. Um, you know, again, for me, David Gilmore's got an incredible vibrato. Gary Moore has got an incredible vibrato. There's, there's a million guys out there that do. Um, you want to find those. Kind of mess around with that vibrato uh, feeling of pulling that string just a little bit. Now, I'm doing it with my first finger. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my middle finger down on the sixth fret of that string, just like we were doing in the last exercise. So now I have two fingers down, and I'm going to do a vibrato again. But this time, I've got two fingers to help me control that a little bit more. I'm still grinding against that first finger right here. Put my third finger down. Work with that. So I can move back and forth between them. Pinky. Again, that's not a lick. It's an exercise for you to try and get used to using all four fingers as a vibrato. So again, vibrato, really important. Don't take any of these for granted just trying to, uh, you know, obviously you can go to the licks anytime. You can head over to those DVDs and look at them. And if you're trying to look at a lick and you're going, ah, I don't really get how he's doing that vibrato, you can always come back to this section 
and look at the bending or look at the vibrato or whatever it is that we're talking about and study it a little bit further. 